It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Thank you for being a part of this last day's church community here on this ministry channel of Signs of the Last Days. And thanks to all of you who are supporting this Signs of the Last Days ministry with your prayers and with your offerings. It is you praying and you giving that supports this ministry to be here. As we are here watching with you and praying with you, as the signs of the last day's prophecies reveal, we are near the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church, and it's time to get ready now. There's news this week where a surprise eruption at the Yellowstone supervolcano shocked and surprised tourists as the people were sent fleeing from the eruption with it an extremely close call where people could have been wounded or killed. And this is part of the continued surprising extreme events we are seeing in nature that are signs of the prophecy that creation is groaning and laboring in birth pangs. And they're the redemption of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ in the last days of prophecy. And there are even greater, more prophetic surprises soon to happen. Yellowstone is not Disneyland with bison, but it is an active volcano and not just a volcano, but what is known, what is known as one of the world's largest super volcanoes. And testimony to that fact is all over Yellowstone National Park, as it is literally teeming with hundreds and hundreds of spewing geysers and boiling hot springs. And this week, there was an eruption at the Yellowstone volcano, where the eruption sent rocks and mud high into the air and sent visitors running away. As dramatic video showed the moment, that the hydrothermal explosion sent the dark cloud into the air as people ran for safety. It was a close call for some people to where if they had been closer, they could have been hurt or killed. And it was a terrifying and baffling scene that even scientists struggle to actually understand or to predict. According to Lisa Morgan, a U.S. Geological Survey research geologist, that wrote the Yellowstone Caldera Chronicles, a Yellowstone Volcano Observatory publication, where she said that such explosions are one of the most important and least understood geological hazards of the Yellowstone supervolcano. The publication said that eruptions like these are from sudden changes in pressure underground that causes rapid expansion of the high temperature fluids under the earth, which suddenly results in the eruption as you have seen in the video, where the explosions are violent and dramatic events that can reach heights of over a mile and spew debris as far as two and a half miles away. And that these eruptions, they say, are dramatic and hazardous and can happen anywhere at any time, according to Michael Poland the scientists in charge at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Fortunately, this time, no one was killed or injured by the explosion. Although he said the eruption of blown out rock, mud, and boiling water is certainly not something that you want to be close to. And this week among the tourists present in this event was a family where one member of the family said that they were taking a guided tour. When she said that the guide pointed out some steam rising out of the ground and said that the guide said that that was unusual. And right then, suddenly, they said that the ground exploded into a huge mushrooming dark cloud full of rocks. She said it was a huge cloud that covered the sun from them where in the first moment she said they could not see the sun for the darkness. 
And she said that in all the surprise and confusion that their 70-year-old mother was at first lost. They could not find her. But then she reappeared from the eruptions cloud with her covered in ash from head to toe, they said. And there was damage to the area. And the boardwalk was destroyed. But fortunately, this grandmother and the rest of the family, they were scared, but they were okay. But of course, then as is standard fare, then the pundits came out and made their usual claims that there was no danger and nothing to worry about and that all is well and normal at the Yellowstone volcano. As they said that the volcano would show signs literally for centuries that an eruption was coming. And they said that a volcanic eruption would, would not happen for thousands of years. Really? What just happened here? But not all scientists are any longer on this same page anymore as the pundits. As there are scientists who now say that they have discovered that things can change much more quickly, even suddenly, at Yellowstone. For example, like the geologist researchers at Arizona State University, where they spent weeks at Yellowstone's Lava Creek Tuff studying fossilized ash deposits from Yellowstone's last super eruption, where they said to their surprise that they found that the volcanic crystals showed that there was not a long drawn out process preceding the last Yellowstone super eruption, but that the crystals revealed a clear uptake, a clear uptick in temperature and a change in composition that they said occurred on a rapid time scale, happening from a surprise injection of fresh magma beneath the volcano. Some scientists are just now starting to realize that the conditions that led to super eruptions of a super volcano can emerge quickly within the human lifetime. And also scientists at the Niels Bohr Institute of the University of Copenhagen, who have been performing a study of the university's massive ice core collection from the ice of Greenland. They say that they have now made a monumental discovery, where they say that they discovered from the data in the ice that there were astonishing, rapid changes in the ice, where they said there were changes in the climate of the earth that, that, that did not happen gradually, but happened suddenly in great leaps. And what could have triggered these sudden, massive leaps of change? All the scientists do agree and have always clearly said that eruptions from volcanoes, and especially from these super volcanoes like Yellowstone. They say that they can have massive impact on the environment of the earth. As they say that these huge explosions can release contaminants as gases and ash into the atmosphere that they say that can travel hundreds, even thousands of miles and blanket large areas of the earth that can contaminate the air the water, the ice, and the land, and blocking out the rays of the sun and bringing long winters and famine. And recently, scientists have been hard pressed to explain the unusual activity at the Yellowstone supervolcano, where in recent years, geysers there have set new records, record after record, for the number of eruptions with increased activity, including with them going super active at the time of the solar eclipse. And local witnesses have also reported incidents of boiling rivers and streams and bison deaths, signs they say of something unusual going on at the Yellowstone supervolcano, which scientists call one of the planet's biggest time bombs 
which when it does blow, they say it will probably change the world. And now, the scientists are surprised to have discovered that changes can happen in the Earth rapidly with these super volcanoes, with the change happening within our life in sudden great leaps. Just as that family and their grandmother were surprised at Yellowstone this week when the earth around them exploded into an eruption without warning, that was a very close call. <clears throat> and the Holy Bible prophecies foretell more, even greater surprises are coming. As the Romans chapter 8 prophecy says that in the prophetic last days, creation will be groaning and laboring in birth pangs as signs that we are near the end time of the redemption. And we are near the tipping point where the signs are happening absolute everywhere in the world with record extreme weather and with continued unexpected, unprecedented events that we are continuing to see in nature to where we can see that the brakes are off and there is no exit as we hurtle deeper into the perilous last days of Bible prophecy, where the prophecies foretell greater prophetic surprises are coming in the near future for the people of the earth. Revelation chapter 6 reveals that there will become to be such severe groaning and laboring of seismic activity in the mountains and in the islands of creation, where it describes how the topography and geography of the earth will be changed by this. And there will be so many contaminants released into the atmosphere to where the prophecy describes how the sun will become black as sackcloth of hair and that the moon becomes like blood. And the prophecies of Revelation chapter 9 also reveal that the separation between that which is on the earth and that which is under the earth will be opened up as the prophecy describes that the barrier over the bottomless pit will be removed to where the smoke will come up out of the bottomless pit upon the earth, to where the sun and the air will be darkened from the smoke of the pit. As the prophecy also reveals that the veil of separation between earth and hell is removed, describing how that horrific Demonic creatures led by their king Apollyon from the bottomless pit will also rise and that smoke coming upon the face of the earth as this demonic horde from the pit will attack people in towns around the world where people are tormented by the attacks of these grotesque creatures who are impervious to people's efforts to defend themselves as they torment the people of earth to the brink of death so badly that the prophecy describes how men will seek death and cannot find it, that they will desire to die, but death will flee from them in this time of torment. Yes, the signs of so many prophetic surprises are already happening and the prophecies tell us they will increase in intensity and the near future of the world. You really do not want to miss the redemption of the church until the Lord Jesus Christ, when in that moment of rapture and the twinkling of an eye, there will be the catching away when his church is taken by him up to meet him in the clouds of the air, which the groaning and laboring of creation, like in birth pangs that we see intensifying right now, is a sign that when you see these things begin to happen, those people born again as a new creation in Christ Jesus are to look up and lift up your heads because your redemption draws near. These signs and current events and conditions happening in the world now are signaling we have entered the prophetic era of the last day's prophecies, and it's time to prepare now for the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church by being born again of the water and the spirit into the kingdom of God, as Lord Jesus commanded we must in John chapter 3, 
verse 3 and John chapter 3 and verse 5. And his chosen apostles, sanctioned by the Lord Jesus, preached how to be born again of the water and of the Spirit in the Acts of the Apostles' preaching in Acts chapter 2, chapter 10, and chapter 19. As the Lord Jesus Christ began his church and spread his church through the Jews and through the Gentiles. And if you would like help finding someone in your area where you're located to biblically pray for you and baptize you according to the preaching of Jesus and his apostles actually in the Bible, you can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website. Our website is signsofthelastdays.org.org. And down at the very bottom in the footer, you'll find there our email address. Just email us with the name of your town, your state, and also give us your zip code with your request, and we will be glad to respond. Please be looking for our next Watch and Pray live stream broadcast as our Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evening, where we plan to share then more signs of the last day's prophecies. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel. And please click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos. Such significant and amazing prophetic signs are happening now in world events. And they are telling the biblical believers of Lord Jesus that it's time to keep looking up as the signs show that our redemption is drawing near. Stay.